Hi everyone, Dr. Jeff back here this week with Corpse and Listen. Listen, we're running out of time with you here. You've got to go back to class in January, kind of a drag. I know. It's been fun having you here. And, and I know uh, this week uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about what we did last week, which was... Yeah, so last week we talked about rotator cuff injuries, or more specifically a supraspinatus tear. So this week we're actually going to talk about the orthopedic test that you can kind of use to differentiate which muscle of the rotator cuff is injured. Yeah, so your rotator cuff is made of four muscles. Uh, essentially, we have the supraspinatus, which kind of runs down here. Uh, the infraspinatus comes off your shoulder blade and runs over to your shoulder. We have the teres minor, which comes off the side of the shoulder blade and runs up kind of your armpit into the shoulder. And then we have something called the subscapularis uh, that comes off the front side of your shoulder blade. So the other side of the shoulder blade here runs up from the shoulder. So we have those four muscles. And I say, today we're going to look at how we differentiate which muscle uh, you've damaged. So let's get into that. There you go. Uh, first one we're going to test is called the supraspinatus. Supraspinatus kind of flexes the arm up and it's actually the one that gets the arm up over your head so we call that uh, abduction. So the first one we're going to do is I'm going to take this what's called the, the uh, empty soup can or drop arm test. So arm, arm flexed up forward straight, thumb pointing down. So when I push down what we want to see is we want to see this arm stay strong. We always want to compare between, between sides uh, to see if they're the same. If you've got a partial tear, what will happen is I'll push and I'll be able to push your arm down. If it's a full tear, she'll barely be able to hold the arm up, it'll just fall right down. The next one we're going to test is called the infraspinatus. The infraspinatus does external rotation, so it rotates the arm up. So this one here, I'm going to hold the arm here and I'm going to actually push against her hand here. And again, she's going to try and resist. You want to compare sides again, make sure they're the same. If this side is weaker, what we're going to find that could be a bit of a partial tear. If for some reason uh, I put the arm out here and the arm just kind of drifts right back in again, that's telling me that's probably a full, a full tear. The next one we're going to do is called a Terry's minor. This one we were called the horn loris test. So she's going to actually pretend she's kind of playing the trumpet here. And again, I can push against her arm uh, into external rotation. If there's a partial tear, again, this is going to be weaker. If it's a full tear, we'll put it here and it will just kind of just drop right down. She won't be able to actually hold this position at all. The last one we're going to do is called the subscapularis. And this is the one that kind of attaches onto the front of the shoulder blade and kind of runs through here. This one here, this is for internal rotation, so it kind of rolls back a little bit. It also is really good for, for adduction and, and bringing it back here. So this one here, we're going to do something called the bear hug. So she's kind of going to give herself a hug, hug here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and push up on here. All right, try and push yourself into rotation. If there's a, if the strength is the same as the other side, again, it's gonna be normal. But if she uh, pushes and, and I can actually push up, that's telling me there's probably a partial tear. Um, if she came to hold this and it just kind of drops down, that's probably a full length tear. The last one we do for subscapularis is stand up for me here, Alyssa. Let me turn sideways. What's gonna happen is she's gonna put her arm behind her back here and she's gonna bring her arm out a little bit. If she can hold that, that means that subscapularis is intact. If for some reason she brings this and she can't hold it out, it just flops back down again, that's telling me it's probably a full rupture of the subscapularis. We hope you enjoy our video. Um, feel free to test your friends if you think they have any shoulder injuries uh, to compare kind of both sides. And uh, that's all we have for you today. So feel free to like this video or comment something you want to see next. And uh, as always here at Goldsworthy Wellness, we got, we got your, your back. back.